Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny Snack YouTube channel. Today's video is going to talk about a service account with a scheduled task. I got a couple of requests to make a video for that. This video is going to be very quickly to show you a demo how you can create a service account and with a scheduled task on it. So I'm going to use in this v10 adm 2 as a demo account. Right now, I don't have any service configured for it, and I don't have scheduled task configured for it. To make our lab simple, easy, I'm going to use a scheduled task as an example. I created a script, simple script, just to show a date and time and the folder list to this list.txt file so we know when the task was running, what time is running, and if it's successful or not. We can create a task. Create a new task. Let's name it as test1. By default, they're using your local logged in account to do it. Um, I'm going to change it to a different one. So let's have it in two. Okay. And the run whether user is logged in or not. And run with highest privilege. We're gonna create a trigger. Run every day. Repeat task for every five minutes. Just for demo purpose. So the action, we're going to run this test.bat file we just created. OK. So here you see, you need to type the password for this account, for this user, because we are running this task under this user. So we can get the password from here. Copy. OK, the task is ready, this scheduled task. We can run it manually. It shows running until you do the refresh. So it finished and it's ready. And we can check the logs here. See the list txt. So we run it 14.02. This time running is 14.03. So we just run it and then it was successful. We can close that. So now we need to do one thing. We need to change the password and to see if it's working. We're going to change it from AD. V10 admin2. We're gonna change the password to a different one. So the password for this account has been changed. Then we come back to our scheduled task. We would like to run it again, but it won't be successful since password isn't correct and we won't be able to log in to run this task. It shows always shows ready, doesn't do anything. And we can check logs. There's no new logs there. 
We also can check the logs to see this event. You can check event viewer, windows logs, security logs. Open this audit failure event. v 10 admin 2 unknown username or bad password. Doesn't work. Now we can try to reconcile this count and see if that uh, password also been changed in our scheduled task and uh, also been changed in our vault as well. So we do reconcile. This is current password. I'm gonna copy it out. So we have a compare reason for that. It is still scheduled for immediate reconciliation. You need one more minute to get it done. Password scheduled for immediate reconciliation. It looks like it's already been reconciled. Okay, it's reconciled at 12.08 p.m. So we can show the password, which is different from what we have now. And we can go back here again. We can try to run this task. The task password also has been changed. There's one more thing we need to do here. We need to define the schedule task here. We didn't define that schedule task. Task name is test one. Right? Address is this IP. Save. Now we can try to change the password or we can do the reconcile password again. We can see there's a dependencies. There's one dependencies for this account, for this v10 admin2 account. Okay, it has been reconciled. Come back here.
Oh, it's working. Refresh. Good. And let's take a look. Locks. 14 to 21. It's working. Once you reconcile the account, or you change the account, the dependency task account will be changed as well. Thank <laughs> you.